everyone welcome back to my channel my name is melissa channel here is melissa underscore dead and six you can also find me on instagram and tiktok by that same name um if you like makeup that's what i like to talk about and play with so feel free to subscribe like share leave me some comments i'd love to interact with you all a bit more in today's video i'm actually borrowing an idea from another youtuber her name is lauren may beauty i'll go ahead and tag her channel down below um, essentially what she does is for palettes that are newly released or that she has an interest in before she jumps in and purchases them she actually tries to recreate the palette with her single shadows so in this box over here i have my single shadows and these are all palettes i'm not sure if you knew this already or not certain brands their palettes are um, magnetic what I mean by that is the eyeshadows can actually be removed. So, crazy, I know. So, for instance, I have Melt Cosmetics. This is a palette from Cleona, Viseart, Natasha Denona, Lila Cosmetics, Sydney Grace, some ColourPop, Kaleidos, Menagerie, Glaminatrix. And again, my single shadows are over here. Um, so I am going to go ahead and try to recreate the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Fall Romance palette. I'm very attracted to this palette. I'm very attracted to the color story. I know Anastasia Beverly Hills puts out very good quality. So I know I would enjoy this palette. However, I'm trying to be better <laughs> about spending money, especially when I already have so much makeup. Um, let me go ahead and I'll put in some images here of that palette. But yeah, that's basically what I'm going to be doing today. Going through my single shadows and these magnetic eyeshadow palettes and trying to recreate that palette so that I don't go out and spend $60 on something I most likely already own. All right, so the first shade I'm going to start with is Smoke. It's looking very champagne-y with a hint of brown so let's see all right so a few different shadows came to mind when i saw this one first up is from sephora collection it's in the shade 08 these are interesting because they have sort of like a putty consistency so that one's got the shimmer it's got a bronzy base but it may be a little too brown so let me see what else we've got next up i was thinking maybe glamorous from give me glow this one may be a little too sparkly not that that's a bad thing but don't think yeah and it looks much more gold than that one does this one i actually depotted from um it's called kaja the chocolate dahlia stack oh that one i think we're getting closer so it's got a bit of a brown warmer undertone but it's still it's shimmery this palette is Summer Days from Sydney Grace. I was eyeing Basque and S'mores. I think S'mores could be a good contender. It's not as brown though. But blended out you do see that it does have a browner undertone this one is a bit too copper i think this is the viseart paris love letter palette kind of had my eye on this one oh that's a good one too so let me compare that one to the kaja
Um, I'd say they're pretty similar, except this one, the undertone, is got up like a peachiness to it. And the sparkles on this one, um, there's a hint of like a pink sparkle in there, whereas this one is strictly silvery champagne. Hmm. So, for smoke, I think the closest one I have is this one from Kaja, from the Chocolate Dahlia stack. Next shadow I'm going to work on is Leather, which looks to me like a matte, neutral to cool leaning, mid-tone brown. So, let me go through my collection and I will pull out what I think sort of matches that description. So I found a good variety I think that could match the shade leather. First I was thinking this is the Natasha Denona Glam Palette, the shade Crease. It's a brown but it's got a bit of a cooler undertone. This is the Enduring Love palette from Sydney Grace. I had my eye on Victoria and Cherish. Let me swatch both of those out. So I think these look a little bit better. This one is a bit too deep now that I compare it to these two. I'm thinking Cherish actually. It's got more of a neutral to cool undertone. This one's a bit warmer. This is the shade Unearthed from Lethal Cosmetics. It looks a little gray, but I promise you it's got more of a brown undertone. Well, I guess when you compare it to the other, it's like a very gray leaning brown. All right, so I do think that the closest shade is Cherish. From the Sydney Grace palette, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it. All right, so next up is Moonlight, which has a very like light lavender sort of shade going on, sparkly. Um, doesn't look like a multi-chrome really. really. So this looks like a very light lavender. So let me go through my collection and. See pull out whatever I think is reminiscent to that. For this, I'm definitely going into my indie eyeshadows. Let's face it, nobody does sparkly shades like an indie brand. Um, so these are from Davina. So this one is Soda Swamp. Let me pull that one out. I also have Yumlicks. Over here, what is this? This is from DJ's Unique Boutique. So they all appear white, but they have a bit of a shift. So let me just swatch them so you can actually see. I'm gonna go ahead and do Soda Swamp first. It's getting messy. All right, now that I look at Soda Swamp, it's got a blue, a bit of blue in there with like purple sparkles, while beautiful, not really what I'm looking for. This is Yumlix from Davina. So that is actually a bit closer. It's got like the purpley, silver sort of vibe to it. And then pink chameleon. But judging by the name, it might come off to pink. But let's see. And that's Pink Chameleon. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to go with 
What was this one called again? My memory's terrible. Yumlix from Davina, I feel like, is the closest match. Next shadow is Thorns. This one, I, I'm not really sure what it'll look like in person. Um, some of the images, it looks kind of like a olive to forest green. Some of the images, it looks like a brown with a sort of like green khaki undertone. So let me see what I can find that sort of speaks to me. All right, first up, I thought of, I don't think it has a name, but this dark green from Vizzy Art. This is the Dark Mats palette. Maybe a little too green, but Vizzy Art makes some of my favorite matte eyeshadows. Wow, you can't tell with that swatch. I promise you, they, they do well on the eye, though. So, that's option number one. Then I was like, well, Melt Cosmetics, they are just great when it comes to grungier shades. So I thought maybe Boy Mom, which is like a brown, but it's just got this like tinge of green khaki. Wow, oh, those look nothing alike. <laughs> This is Menagerie Cosmetics, their Feral Palette. This is the shade Alpha. Oh, the mats are not just swatching every. Once upon a time, Adept Cosmetics sold um, individual singles. So this is from their line when they used to carry them. ACM8. Okay, so this one is like a foresty green. This one's a more muted green. And these are definitely more brown leaning. These are my Sydney Grace single shadows. I thought maybe this one, but this one may also be a little too green leaning. This is in the shade Thrilled. I mean, beautiful color. Do you see how pigmented that is? If you've never tried Sydney Grace, you definitely need to try them. But I don't think that's hitting. This, I think, is the best match for that one in the Anastasia palette. It's like dark with like a tinge of green but still kind of brown. All right, next up is Fireside, which is giving me a very much copper, rose gold, sort of metallic. So let's go ahead and see what I have. All right, from the Sydney Grace palette, Sunny Days palette, I was eyeing camping. That one may be a bit more copper than what I'm looking for. This is another palette from Sydney Grace, the Tiny Marvels. I was eyeing Marvel, which I think has more of a pinky. They're very similar. This one's like full on, full of metallic. This one's got like a bit more like bigger glitter particles. This is the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette, which is full of lots of coppery gold tones. Maybe this one. Oh, it's the sheet. Crest or Helena. Crest. On Helena. So far, I think Crest may be. It's got a bit more pink to it than the other ones. This is number 33 from the Sephora collection. Okay, 
Oh, yeah. I think that may be the one. That one's definitely more like a rosy gold. These are definitely more orange leaning. And this is Rose's Remix from Give Me Glow. Yeah, I need to use these shadows more. I forget how beautiful they are. So I think the one in the Anastasia palette is a bit more subtle. Like this is pretty impactful, pretty shimmery. I'm going to go ahead and go with this one here from the Natasha Denona palette. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not Natasha Denona. That's Sephora Collection. Next up is Crimson, which is like a very, very deep sort of blood red burgundy. Automatically, I'm going to my Viseart dark mattes. Probably this one here. Also the Milk Cosmetics Muerte palette. Um, Velo Rio, I think that's how you pronounce that. It's like almost black, but it's got like the hint of burgundy red. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that one from the cosmetics. Next is Divine, which is honestly like the, the focal point of this palette, right? It stands out from the rest of the colors, it's this very bright blue based metallic sort of fuchsia magenta color um i first was thinking this one from terra moons if i can get it out it's just in the shade lost in space So this one has a little bit of like a purple blue shift. It's got the glitter in that pinky base. Also thinking a good fit would be for my Cleona Dragon Fruit Palette, the shade Sweetened. Oh yeah. Like this is beautiful without a doubt, but the one in the Anastasia doesn't have that glittery shift it's more of a solid magenta fuchsia sort of shade so i'm gonna go ahead and do the cleona sweetened next i'm going with ember which is more of a mid-tone brown a little bit warmer undertone so for that i'm probably gonna go with my sydney grace shadow so let's see what i have Um, this one may be a bit too deep. Yeah, it's definitely too deep, so maybe not. This is a palette from Sydney Grace as well. Um, this is a Tropicolor, a collab they did with the Fancy Face, who is also a YouTuber. I'm thinking maybe the shade Maroon. That one's definitely like more of a red based brown. Definitely closer to what I'm looking for. I'm also thinking maybe Beach Days from the Sunny, what is it called? Sunny Days palette. Also, the Mandalorian, the Child. This brown here is pretty warm. This is the Be Mine palette from Sydney Grace. It's got one. This one has a bunch of different kind of browns. That one's more like a milk chocolate. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just do Beach Days. To me, it's looking the most like the one in the picture. Next up is Crown which is another metallic 
it's looking like a pale gold. So let's see what I have. From the ColourPop Mandalorian The Child palette, kind of eyeing Precious Cargo and The Force. They look very different, I know. But this one, while it appears kind of white, it has a gold undertone to it. That might be perfect. Let's compare. This one's definitely like more of a yellow gold. Alright, so let me keep that one in mind and see what else I have. This is the Kaleidos palette in Sashimi City. I'm kind of looking at this one here. That one's a tad bit like a green gold. Very pretty. I'm kind of looking at this one as well. This is from Kristen Lee Cosmetics in the shade Haunted. Ooh, I think that's the one. Yeah, I think I'll find that one. Next is Mulberry, another matte shade. This one is also burgundy, but not as deep as crimson. So let's see. So this is again the Busy Arts um, dark mattes. Kind of eyeing this one here. See, it's still burgundy, kind of a brick red. Maybe I'm gonna swatch this one as well. That one's a little deep. I think this one's a little bit better, but let me keep searching. Got these three from Lethal Cosmetics, so I'm actually gonna swatch all three. I think one of these could be a good fit. That was a bit too brown. One. This is a mini of the Dark Edit palette from Busy Arch. Kind of thinking maybe this one. What's confusing me with this shade is the promo pictures. The swatch looks very deep, whereas the picture of the actual palette does not look very deep. It looks kind of poorly, actually. So I'm not really sure. what direction to take this since I haven't actually seen the palette in person. This one might be the best fit. Why are the mattes like giving me a harder time than the shimmers? I did not anticipate that. All right, I've been here debating for a minute. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with this one from Lethal. Um, maybe it's a little too red. But it's hard to tell what the image is online. I think this one looks the closest. Sort of like an in-between. It's this one here. This one here. It looks like an in-between of what you see in the swatch and what you see in the palette. And it's called Frantic from Lethal Cosmetics. Next is Midnight. This is the reason I went... This is the image I'm actually going off of if you're uncertain. I went right to left because this one I'm not too sure. It looks like it has like a black face with sort of like a cranberry shimmer going on. I don't know what I have in my collection that will match this, but let's see. First up we have Swing. This is the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. See, this one's more like a foiled metallic. That one looks like it has, like, you can tell it has glitter in it. So let's see if we can find something better. All right, looking at my Sydney Grace. Let's see this one here. That one looks a little too taupey. This one. A little too lavender. This one I think is a duochrome, so I don't think that's gonna. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Actually. I'm gonna actually pull that one to the side. That doesn't look bad. 
maybe a little too purple. And here's our Cleona palettes. Definitely this one here. Mm, no, not really. Possibility. It's definitely more pink than this one. Mm, no, it's too like red leaning. Too purple. Wow, this is a hard one, guys. I knew it would be. Let me dip on over here. Well, actually, that one looks pretty good. Let me pull that one out. Wow, I, don't, I have no idea. I didn't label this. I want to say I pulled this out of a Morphe palette because it doesn't have a label. But I'm not quite sure. This is the Glamonatrix Nocturnal palette. Kind of looking at dusk. Dusk is like a bit more purple. It still has like a black base to it. I think I decided on going with Queen's Banquet from Cleona Cosmetics. It is this one right here. I think it's got a black base. It's got a good amount of like purple, pink, reddish shimmer. So I'm going to go ahead and go with that one. All right. And the last shadow is Twilight. Which to me is coming across as a cool toned, super deep brown. At least that's what I'm getting from the image. So from the Sydney Gate Grace Tropicolor palette, I automatically thought of cocoa beans. But that may be a little too deep, almost black really. This is the Mary Jane palette from Melt Cosmetics. Sorry if I just wanted you. Looking at Sin Samia, I think that's how it's pronounced. Well, that's just, see, it's more brown, a little bit lighter than that one. This is Semi Sweet from Dandelion Cosmetics. I also have Portobello from Dandelion, so let me compare that one. This one leans a little bit more gray. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with that first one. Oops. Semi Sweets. Alright, so this is my final palette, my rendition of the Natasha Denona fall romance palettes let me go ahead and swatch them and let you know the names and who the shadows are from here's everything swatched out so the shadow doesn't have a name because it came from a kaja Pencil box, I believe they're called. The stack is the Chocolate Dahlia. This is Yum Licks from Divina Cosmetics. This is number 33 from Sephora Collection. This is Sweeten from the Cleona Cosmetics Dragon Fruit Palette. This is Haunted from Kristen Lee Cosmetics. This is Beach Days from the Sydney Grace Summer Days palette. This is Cherish from the Sydney Grace Enduring Love palette in the light rendition. She makes two. This is ACM8 from Adept Cosmetics. This is Velo Real from Milk Cosmetics Muerte palette. This is Queen's Banquet from Cleona Cosmetics. This is Frantic from Lethal Cosmetics. 
and semi sweet from Dandelion Cosmetics. All right, one last look at my palette and the swatches. Wow, that was hard. <laughs> you know what? If you don't have the time and you have the extra, what is it, $54, just buy the palette because this was very time consuming. It took me forever. It's a lot harder to match shadows than you would think. But overall, I think this is so pretty. I'm going to go ahead and try to either recreate some of the looks I've seen them posting, play around with it. If I'm happy with it, I probably won't purchase the, the Anastasia palette. We'll see. I don't know. It might be on my wish list. But this was a fun little experiment. I enjoyed doing this. I hope you enjoyed this sort of long, chaotic <laughs> sort of video. Thanks again to Lauren May Beauty for this idea of putting together eyeshadow palettes with what you already own. This was really fun to do. Like always, if you like what you see and you like to play with makeup, talk about makeup, um, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe, like, share, leave me some comments down below. Do you think I did? At a, a one out of ten. One to ten. What do you what do you rate this? <laughs> Are you picking up that new palette? Are you skipping it? If so, why? Let me know. I'm really interested. I feel like out of nowhere there are so many good things being released um but yeah it was fun doing this i hope you enjoyed this sort of video i appreciate anyone taking the time to support my channel have a great rest of your day see you next time